All right, guys, we're looking at a gas line today. Um, <clears throat> they're trying to sell this house and get it, everything um, inspected. I guess the homeowner or previous plumber ran this line here um, for a stove, but I guess the guy died and now they need to pull a permit, so they're asking us to do it. So, I don't know if they're going to have a problem with that joist being notched like that all the way up, but that's not my problem. Anyways, the gas pipe itself looks fine. Other than that, there's a saddle fitting on that three quarter inch and uh, that's not code here so we got to replace it. So what I'm thinking is I'm just going to take this apart get it out of the way, cut it with a bandsaw, and then I can mega press a T in there and then just redo this. This obviously just goes to the dryer, so that's my plan anyway. And then they also want to get rid of this too. This was going to a grill outside, but the grill is long gone, so I'll just cut that <clears throat> up over there and get rid of it. All right, so I got the gas turned off. Start by taking apart this T. I'm not sure what kind of pipe this is. I think that's track pipe. I don't know. Doesn't say. Anyways. I'm just taking this T off because it's in the way. But like I say, I think if I can, <clears throat> I think I can uh, get my bandsaw right in there and just cut that saddle fitting right out, and then just mega press this bad boy. Oops, this we also have to get rid of. Let's just get it out of the way for now. <clears throat> don't see uh, saddle tap fittings on gas very often. You see them on water a lot, but gas is pretty rare. I guess some people just really don't care if they blow their houses up. What's crazy is this has obviously been during done recently. Like somebody's, you know, worked on this. I don't know how they don't change this in the process. <laughs> but I mean, <clears throat> literally that's all it is. You just drill a hole or um, I think you drill a hole in the pipe, you know, put this on there, or maybe this is self-piercing, no. I don't think it is. No. But they didn't even drill the hole. I don't know if you can see that. They didn't even drill the hole all the way clean. They just got like, you know, 85% into it and then stopped. <laughs> Anyways. 
So I'll get this out of here. That strut clamp's not even tight. <clears throat> Well, I guess it doesn't really mean it needs to be tight because I'm going to have to move it. Well, let's see. How easily is this going to come out? Might have to go get another pipe wrench. The teeth on my knippics are getting pretty dull. Sucks. The nipple's not coming with it. Let's open it wood. So what I'm going to do is just cut a nipple, thread a nipple in here, you know, cut it, <clears throat> and then uh, I got a mega press T. I'm going to put a T right there. It's going to work out pretty good, I think. pretty good. Yeah. Maybe. I don't want to have to get a new T on here if I don't have to. There we go. Okay. Yep. Still moving. I think that's a cush clamp, but without the. It is. So that's a cushion clamp without the cushion. <laughs> okay, anyways. And really, I mean, this is just capped off here. So I could just make this a 90, but I don't have one, so. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put a T, put it back. I think I need the big boy porta band. <clears throat> I wonder if this one will cut that three quarter now with one bar. And then these I just grabbed. Yeah. I should be able to just throw this on there. Oh, I need a long nipple. got some juice in it. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. We just got this new three, 351, I think it is. 350. And the head swivels 360. That's pretty sweet. Alright. Okay. Alright, 
Hello. What's up? No. No, no, I just refer that out. Yep, see ya. Try to get it somewhat straight. And then I think, yeah, that's just how it was, so that'll work. Um, I guess I got my piece put in here first, and then I can cut it to length. That's what I'll do. Well, it doesn't matter, because I gotta move it out of here. So yeah, I'll just get that piece put in there. Slap off the threads here. That'll work. I guess in hindsight it would have made sense to press that last because now I got to take this apart and thread it in there but whatever whatever okay let's see if it looks somewhat straight Oops. on here, put our T back on, connect our range line, and we're done. We'll get this out of the way. All right, um, let's take this apart. Yeah, I wish I would have, <laughs> I was thinking I would have threaded it in here, you know, and then pressed it in the T last, but 
it's Friday, my brain is tired from the week, so anyways, what's another five minutes? I don't know what kind of CSST this is. I didn't see any brand on it. I have to imagine it's gas or uh, track pipe or maybe Ward Flex. Clamp back on. Stupid gush clamp. That'll work. I was going to replace it, but this is fine. I think I have a nut driver for that. Let's see, is it 716? No, that looks too big. No, that's right. So that's Skeeter. That's good. Beautiful. Love this level. This thing's awesome. Okay. 
that's it. No, oh, I still gotta remove this. Let's see. Kind of crazy that this little gas line was good enough for the dryer for so many years. Now we're required half inch. through the wall so I'm just gonna cut it <clears throat> bend it up there I'll just bend it over so nobody snags themselves on it I'll be fine is back on. Smell it. <clears throat> okay, gas is on. I think that's that's every joint that I touched anyway. <clears throat> we'll give that a minute. I'll go ahead and relight the water heater and fire the furnace back up. <clears throat> Sounded like it lit. Sometimes it'll light and then go out. <clears throat> nope. Light's gonna blink. I usually crank it all the way up. And I don't know if you heard that, but I just fired up, so. You can also check our sight lights. Let's see, it's running, so we're good. And then obviously if you do that you want to make sure you turn it back down. This was set to A when I turned it off, so put it back there and then the furnace, turn that back on. We got any bubbles over here? Nope. Everything looks good.
That's a Vega uh, three quarter by half mega press T. That's approved for gas. Dryers lit. Doesn't sound too good. This is so good. Oh, this is Viva. <laughs> oh, I think I said it'll work. It's warm. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.